Since we had such great success with our green fragrances video, I decided to put together a fresh green fragrances video for you as well. So this is my top 20 fresh green fragrances video, coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Yes, I love fresh fragrances, but I've never done a fresh green fragrances video. So today we have green fragrances that are fresh, perfect for the upcoming summer season, but also great for spring and uh, fall. And actually, these could be worn any time of the year. Dahlia doesn't like fresh fragrances, so she's not here today. But I'm here and I'm, I've got 20 fragrances and these fragrances are all utilizing green notes in one way or another. Could be tomato leaf, could be green apple, could be basil, mint, you name it, or pedigran, you name it. All here and going to be counted down. So let's go ahead and get started. But first of all, before we do that, do you guys like green fragrances? Let me know in the comments section. But number 20, a new one in my collection, but sort of an oldie but a goodie from a San Francisco perfumer by the name of Yosh. And this is Koenig, this one right here. So Koenig is, to me, a fresh, crisp, green apple fragrance. And to me, it's almost like the green apple version of Aventus. Yes, it does smell a little bit like Aventus. It reminds me or hints at Aventus. And that's what I like about it because Aventus garners compliments and also Koenig garners compliments for me. But as I said, this is all about green apple and Aventus is all about pineapple. But if you like that fresh kind of fragrance and you're kind of getting burnt out on Aventus, you want something a little twist or a little different, definitely try Koenig by Yosh. And I mean, I, I recommend this one a lot and I'm glad to finally have one in my collection to put to good use and it is a great, great freshie. So Koenig by Yosh is at number 20. At number 19, we're going to the house of Molten Brown and I featured this in my acquisitions video or actually I did a first impressions video of Molten Brown fragrances. This is Coastal Cypress and Sea Fennel. This one right here, very green, herbal and woody fragrance. Very fresh, but it also has the aquatic touches, but it's actually quite good. It smells more aquatic actually when you smell it out of the bottle than when you have it on your hand and it smells uh, very uh, green and woody and herbal with that a little bit of a salty aquatic touch. Very, very lovely actually. I'm quite impressed with the Molten Brown fragrances. I wanna discover more, but I do have five now. I have five of these and I'm putting them to good use. So anyway, if you don't know Molten Brown, check it out. These retail for around $70, I think, for a 50 ml. So this is Coastal Cypress and Sea Fennel by Molten Brown at number 19. Number 18, we're going to the house of Hermes. We've got two Hermes fragrances in this collection, and this is the first one. This is Voyage de Hermes, the Parfum Edition, this right here. So this is all about cardamom, but it's got lots of green notes. So it's lots of spicy cardamom, but lots of green, uh, just says green notes on uh, Fragrantica and some of the websites, and it does definitely has a very green vibe. So it's spicy and green at the same time. So if you like your cardamom in fragrances, this is definitely one to try. It's a really, really lovely fragrance, and I love the way cardamom smells. But again, this is the twist with the cardamom of the green notes, and it's absolutely wonderful. So do check it out. This is Voyage de Hermes by Hermes in Parfum Edition, and that's at number 18. At number 17, we're going to the house of I Profumi di Firenze, and this is Agrumi di Sicilia, this one right here. Now this one's all about green citruses. So you've got lots of green, fresh, citrusy, juicy, tart notes, and uh, with lots of like green, uh, green notes in here. I think there's some pedigree in here as well, but it comes off very, very green and uh, beautiful actually. Really, really lovely scent, and if you're the kind of person that likes thirst quencher type fragrances for the summer heat and uh, humidity, this is the one for you. So do check it out. This is again Agrumi de Sicilia by I Profumi di Firenze and that's at number 17. At number 16, we're going to the house of Sicily and this is Eau de Campagne, this one right here. Now this is a very classic fragrance but it doesn't smell classic. It was created by Jean-Claude Elena and this was probably one of his very first creations for the house of Sicily and this is utilizing a uh, tomato leaf, a green tomato leaf note. So it has this herbal quality, green, very very green and it's almost like your traditional Eau de Cologne, think 4711 or something citrusy fresh like that 
but the, with the twist of the uh, green herbal tomato leaf note. So, um, you've no, if, if you've tried a fragrance by Memo Paris called the uh, Italian Leather, that has that tomato leaf note in it as well. Whereas here, it's not about leather; it's all very fresh and eau de cologne like uh, with the uh, tomato leather. But if you're familiar with that, think uh, of that tomato leaf note in that fragrance in here. Um, a lot of people don't know this one. It is classic after all, but it's really, really still wonderful. And for those hot, humid days, this is a very, very lovely green, fresh uh, fragrance from Sisley. So it's Sisley Eau de Campagne at number 16. So at number 15, we're going to the house of Gallimard, and this is Bamboo Truffle right here. Now, I had a video up on a previous channel about the house of Gallimard. I had done a video about it. I think I'm going to try and dig it up and put it up sometime soon. So hopefully that'll be up by, by the time I air this video or it's uh, going to come up after this. But Gallimard is one of a trio of older fragrance houses in Grasse in the south of France. Uh, there's uh, Fragonard, there's Molinard, and then of course there's Gallimard, and this is one of their fragrances, and this is all about bamboo. So it's very green and fresh, uh, kind of, a little bit kind of like borders metallic for me, and I think it's the green citrus notes in here, or maybe the gr green herbal notes, I can't really make out. But um, if you can get past that metallic part, it's such a wonderful fragrance, I absolutely love it. So if you don't know this house, do check it out, Gallimard Bamboo Truffle at number 15. So at number 14, it's a fragrance house I haven't spoken about on this channel ever, and I discovered them at Exxon's last year uh, in 2017. This is a house called Le Cercle de Parfume Creators, which I think translates to the Circle of Perfume Creators, and the fragrance is called Vague de Folie, this one right here. This is so delicious. As you can see, I've used up a lot of it since then, and it is really, really green, fresh, and absinthe-like. Like, if you like anise or licorice, this is the one for you, Vague de Folie. Now, I don't know where this is sold in the States, but as I said, I bought this at uh, Exxon's last year, and it was around 75 euros for the 50 ml, and it's such a great scent, I absolutely love it. I, I, if I run out, I'm gonna have to get some more, but if you like green, anise fresh fragrances, uh, think um, Food Absinthe from L'Artisan Parfumé, that's also another one that could be added to this list, but it, it's sort of similar to that. So if you like that sort of thing, check out Vague de Folie by Le Cercle de Parfumé Creators at number 14. At number 13, we're going to the house of Commodity. This is Bergamot. I did a review for this one, and this is a very green bergamot and vetiver fragrance. It's not your traditional bergamot where it's tart, juicy. This is all very dry and woody, but still very bergamot if that makes sense. So it's a unique twist on the fragrance uh, bergamot. And I like that about it because all bergamot fragrances start smelling the same, you know, like Neo, and then there's um, Le Labo's Bergamot 22. They're very fresh and juicy. So this one's a complete reversal of that kind of style of fragrance. And that's what I like about it. Still, I prefer the other ones more, but I wanted to add this list, be I wanted to add this one to this list because it's unique uh, green fragrance. So Bergamot by Commodity at number 13. At number 12, we're going to the house of Banana Republic. Yes, another fragrance house that I haven't spoken about on this channel. And this is the 78 Vintage Green right here. Now this is a very green and beautiful, sort of pretty-ish fig and green notes fragrance. And uh, what a lovely fragrance. I'm actually quite impressed with how great this smells. And for a Banana Republic fragrance, I highly recommend this one. This is part of that collection of really higher quality fragrances that they had launched recently. And I'm really lo looking forward to exploring them. But if you like fig and you like green notes and citruses and things like that, this is definitely one to try. So this is 78 Vintage Green by Banana Republic. At number 11, we're going to the house of L'Artisan Parfumé, and this is Sur La Herbe, this one right here. Now, I wanted to give you guys a large variety of styles. I did include Food Absinthe. I don't have that one currently in my collection, but I love it. It's a green one, a green uh, absinthe or licorice. But this one is a very, very fresh and beautiful green citrus. But there's also very something sparkly and pretty and beautiful about it that's just glistening and shimmering in like the light, kind of like that's how it comes off to me. Very, very shiny and beautiful. Like the shimmering quality is really definitely present for me. Now this is at Eau de Cologne, so it's a lighter, fresher, if you think you like very, very fresh fragrances and not too heavy, even Eau de Toilettes are not that heavy for me, but some people think that they can be. But if you want Eau de Cologne's, this is one to try. So it's Sur La Herbe from uh, L'Artisan Parfumé, that's at number 11. Very, very green. 
All these are very, very green fragrances. Next up, we're going to the House of Hermes, a classic for me that I've had in my collection for a while. I still have a vintage bottle of it, but this is the uh, remake in the Concentrate edition. This is Hermes Concentrate Orange Vert. This one right here, this is a very green orange fragrance, if that makes sense. So it's all about citruses, twigs, you know, you've got the woodiness in there, green uh, pedigree in there, just all kinds of green notes all thrown in. So it's citruses, green citruses with the leaves, and then you've also got twigs in there because it comes off very uh, woody for me. But what a beautiful fragrance this is. It's just gorgeous. I've had this in my collection since the early 2000s in the original, and as I said, I have a vintage bottle of it. It smells really, really lovely. But go to the Concent a concentrated version, a concentric orange vert. This one right here, rather than the original or, or orange vert, that actually doesn't smell as good as this one does. And this one actually smells to me more like the vintage version or the original version before they got reformulated. So I'd go with this one. So check it out. This is Concent Orange Vert from Hermes at number 10. Next up, we're going to the house of Jo Malone, and you've got to add a Jo Malone fragrance in this list. And this is a very, very green. Basil and Neroli, this one right here. So it's all about basil and it's all about Neroli. And where you're getting the, the green notes in this one is from the basil. And again, with this one also, similar to the Sur La Herbe from L'Artisan Parfumé, this, there's something very, very shimmering and shiny about this fragrance, sparkling, very, very perfect, like slightly effervescent. So it's perfect to wear in the heat. And I find Eau de Cologne's to wear in really ultra hot, uh, humid places. But if you kind of burnt out on like just the typical freshy and you want a little twist, you can go with something like this, which is also green as well. So you've got a green, lots of green notes and the green notes come uh, in here from the basil. So basil and neroli from Jo Malone at number uh, nine. Next up, we're going to the house of Berdu and this is Selva do Brazil. This one right here. Oh man, this is so good. This is all about uh, pedigree. Uh, this is the green, orange uh, tree leaves. So it's very, very slightly bitter green, but citrusy. I absolutely love it as a kid. I used to pick the leaves and smell them as you, you kind of break it in half. You could smell like the oil, the essence of that leaf. And this is perfectly captured here. So delicious. I could have just poured this stuff on all over me and it smells so wonderful and fresh. And these are not too heavy either, even though these are eau de toilette. I think they're eau de toilette, I could be wrong. The concentration is not too clear on here, but absolutely love, love this fragrance. Love it a lot. So check it out, it's green pedigree, and it's called Selva do Brazil from Berdu, or Maison Berdu. Next up, we're going to the house of Mugler, and this is from their Les Exceptions collection, and this is Hot Cologne, this one right here. So it's not the original cologne that's really, really popular. I decided to put this one in the mix because it is, think the cologne, the Mugler cologne, but think coffee bean, so it's a twist. So it's very, very green, uh, neroli, orange blossom, you know, you've got also the, the pedigree leaves and just green notes in here, plus you've got a twist of uh, coffee. Um, and so it adds this unique twist to the fragrance. So if you want something fresh but with a twist, this is the one to try. That coffee note is really, really lovely. I absolutely love it in here. So it's Hot Cologne from Mugler from the Le Exceptions collection at number seven. So at number six, we're going to the house of uh, Le Galeon, and this is just called Cologne, this one right here. Now this one is a straight up Eau de Parfum crea uh, creation, so it's not the Eau de Cologne concentration, so it's, the concentration is heavier, but it smells like your typical like 47, 11, things like that, but with a much better performance. But the fragrance itself, out of this world, delicious. I absolutely love it. Uh, very fresh, refreshing. If you want your heavier fragrances, but you want a freshie that lasts longer, you want a green a touch to it, this is the one right here. Cologne by the House of Le Galeon. And that's at number six. At number five, we're going to the house of Atelier Cologne, and I wanted to include at least one fragrance from this house because they, they do uh, freshies very well. This is Clementine, California, this one right here. Again, this is a beautiful Clementine note, very green, sparkly, effervescent, uh, almost like, um, like you open up an orangina, kind of like the bubbles. It kind of comes off like that. So delicious, actually. I can just drink this because it smells so good. 
but the underlying drying, the dry down of this one is, as well is very, very classy to me. Comes off very classy when it dries down. I mean, you can smell that it's got like some class all over it, even though it's got like that bubbly, effervescent, playful vibe, but still the dry down is just gorgeous. But what a wonderful fragrance to be named after our beautiful state of California. And uh, this is Clementine, California from Atelier Cologne at number uh, five. Very green. So here, go, here it goes, uh, four more left. At number four, we're going to the house of Etat Libre de Orange, and this is you or someone like you. That had to be on this list. So this is a very, very fresh green fragrance. Now this one uh, is so fresh and green, absolutely love it. The green comes from the mint, and I think there's also green grass, and of course there's rose, but man, it smells so true to mint that I absolutely, almost think like I'm smelling a like a bunch of uh, freshly chopped mint almost, with some citruses and maybe some other uh, ingredients or something. But very fresh, if you like your fragrances to be ultra fresh, this is one of the freshest fragrances, so, so good. Now performance is a little all over the place with this because it is um, uh, a freshy, but still I think it's pretty decent for what you get. Check it out, you or someone like you, at number four, I do have a re review for this one as well, so do check that as well. So that's from the house of Etat Libre de Orange. At number three, we're going to the house of Jacques Fat, and this is green water. Now this had to be on here. It's so green, it's green, fresh, lots of green notes. Uh, you've got vetiver, you've got you know herbal notes like basil and things like that, mint, but it's also lots of citruses. Very, very uh, classy. Sophisticated, classy, freshy for men, uh, although I don't think it's for men anymore. It used to be for men, but now it's released as a unisex fragrance. Check it out, Jacques Pat, Green Water. It's definitely a, a fragrance that you should have if you like classy, freshies. That's at number three. At number two, we're going to the house of Le Labo, and this had to be on the list, I already mentioned it. This is Bergamot 22, this one right here. Now, this is an ultra juicy green um, bergamot. So lots of green notes, lots of bergamot, very, very juicy, tart. Although not as tart as I think uh, other fragrances can be tart, but this one's not as tart, but it still has this like, when you smell it, you get a little bit of a puckery kind of a lip, um, kind of a reaction to it. But man, it's so delicious. It is just absolutely delicious, juicy, very, very juicy, but ultra green. So Bergamot 22 from Le Labo at number two. Last but not least, we're going to the house of Maison Francis Kirkjian. Hey, this one right here. Longest lasting out of all of these, I think. Uh, it's a musk, it has a clean white musk in here that stays on for a long time. Uh, so it's musky, but not manamalic, just clean musk, but lots of citruses as well, but very green. Green and clean and musky. Green and citrusy and clean and musky, I guess that's what you would call this one, this one but it's so good. Absolute love for this one, perfect for those days when you want the fragrance to last, you go into a party or something, and it's like sweating out there, like really like, 100 plus and you want your fragrance to last because you can't take your fragrance with you. That's what I like this for. This is Aqua Universalis Forte by Maison Francis Kirk Jan at number one. Guys, what are your favorite green fragrances? What are your favorite green fresh fragrances? Let me know. And what do you think about this list? Do you like these fragrances? Do you hate these fragrances? Should I have included other fragrances? Are you curious to tr discover these fragrances? Let me know so we can get a conversation started. Also, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.